right guys, so now comes the time to press out some of these bushings here. We're gonna start with this one here. Now I will link in the description what I'm using to do this. Uh, it's gonna be a combination of a press plus another tool that's specifically designed to press in and out bushings. What we're gonna get is this cup that comes with your press kit. And this cup we want to be the same diameter as the actual control arm because this cup is going to catch the bushing as we push it out. So you're gonna want it to be the diameter of the actual control arm itself. Now, we'll take a impact socket that fits the size of the actual bushing itself and can actually drive itself in between the control arm and where it's mounted here. So we're gonna push it through here. We're gonna catch it on the other side. And let me see what, let me show you what we're gonna use to push it through. All right guys, so to press this out, we gotta get a little bit creative here. I set up the press with the control arm in place with a couple of different cups and adapters. And let's see if we can press this bushing out. Beautiful. One out. Let's clean this up a little bit. There you go. There's your there's your bushing. She's out. So we got our cup set up here. Alright, so we got our large bushing here. We got our this is our press. Remember it's the diameter that fits inside of where the bushing is mounted. I'm actually gonna use my arbor plate here to sandwich it since the arbor plate is nice and flat. Okay, should be good there. If you guys are still watching, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what car you plan on applying this method to. Almost out. Got to raise this up a little bit. Okay, that one's out. Sorry guys, I seem to have lost my audio here, but Dad Fix a Cardi came to lend a hand. It can help definitely to have an extra set of hands because trying to set this up in the press by yourself and get everything lined up just right can be a little bit difficult. And you don't want to mess up this part, especially when you're pressing in your new bushings that were not exactly cheap. So you'll press them in until the lip is lined up with the lip of the control arm itself. You don't want to push it any further. You want that bushing to be as centered as possible inside of your control arm there. And then for the front portion of that lower control arm, these are just poly bushings from Super Pro. They're really easy to install. They come in two halves with a center cylinder, which is where your bolt will go through and connect the control arm to your subframe. So what you'll do is you'll pack them with some grease on the outsides and you'll push them in place, both halves, and then you'll pack the inside again with some more grease, and then you can put this cylinder through the center. Now, Super Pro does include a good amount of grease when you buy their bushings. Don't be shy, make sure you use it, because this grease is there mainly to prevent any type of squeaking that you may have when you start to break in the suspension and start to use it. So again, make sure you coat the inside as well as the outsides of the bushings prior to reinstalling it in the car. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see the full video, I linked it here where I completely redo the entire suspension on my Subaru STI. And if you guys enjoy watching totaled cars get rebuilt, check out that video on your screen next. I'd appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future rebuilds as well as automotive tips and tricks. With that, I'll see you guys next time.